Hi everyone, so in this video I will be showing you how to set up the nested navigation for the Visual Widget Navigation plugin. So we were left off um, last episode with those widgets set up that way. Um, yep, that's it. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to show you how to set up like let's say you have those three selection kind of buttons and you want to reuse them multiple times which you can obviously do with the widgets so I'm gonna go to this create a simple user widget let's call it WBP my nested widget All right cool um, we have those widgets nested widget right now I'm gonna go go to canvas here and I'm gonna also use the the button that I created because it's just more more visible um, so let's call it high mm. yeah let's do it like this maybe yeah let's let's duplicate it and duplicate it again medium say minus hundred and do low here right uh, maybe let's just move them a little bit uh, more apart cool um, now we have those widgets that we want to navigate up and down um, I actually forgot to to make a proper class so I can now actually use this visual widget navigation widget and we should be able to build a navigation now for this um, so let's say this is a screen with just those three buttons we want to set up the navigation between them as we usually do like this oh yeah this one goes up so they're all navigating up and down um, what I want to do now is I want to get this widget in multiple places in my in my UI system and have it reused so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get rid of those uh, as you can as I re mentioned in the first episode when you remove widgets it will complain that's okay just rebuild the navigation and we're good to go um, let's put this one somewhere here and we have our WBP my nested widget mm. let's put it somewhere here maybe Oh well, let's maybe put it here, that will be even better. In the middle of the screen. There you go. Well, that's zero. Um, so let's do something like this. Um, so as you can see now, we have this um, widget set up and we should be able to navigate from here to there let's say to this button this button and that button and now we can there is two ways we can do this um so we can just navigate to those separately or we can do something different a little bit and we can go to minus the widget make this main widget focusable right in this case when you do that and you just ref refresh those values on this one because the Unreal Engine widgets they don't care um, and they did something just don't update this um, and so if I go to this now and try to navigate to those 
you will see that I'm able to navigate to this whole screen. It's not this button, it's just the whole screen that I'm navigating to. What does it mean? It means that when if I press right on my keyboard or 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 the, the, the gamepad, it will call focus received. Uh, I will be able to show you this, print that. Always when you have those just make you make it handled in the end. So you'll be able to see if I navigate uh, to the right now it goes hello and it highlights the whole screen but I cannot navigate through those uh, the other buttons that we have there so what we can do is for example when this screen the whole sc screen receives focus I can go to for example grab the high um, navigate to and call the navigate to function on this one so this is pretty handy and pretty modular right now because we have the screen that is whenever it's receiving the focus it can select what button to navigate after that um, and from there those buttons know where to navigate as well so um, let's get to this mm. we've got the, the button here it's navigating to the screen um, and so now you will be able to see that um, whenever I navigate to the right it passes then the, the focus navigation focus to the high and now it just goes like we set it up inside of the screen um, so that's cool it's already reusable multiple times I can chuck it any in any blueprint that I want and the navigation will, will just work out of the box um, but there is more to it um, so let's say there's there's one more feature I wanted to talk about because and for many people this is a little bit weird because normally Unreal Engine does not allow access to the nested widgets so for example with regular Unreal Engine stuff I can just highlight this I can change some values of this screen but I cannot click on the buttons that are inside this button so which are nested inside mm. with my plugin you can do it but just for navigation so I can as you can see I cannot click those because the widget that's on top of them is navigable but if I hold down the control key you will be able to see that I can still highlight the nested widgets so I can basically click on those nested widgets that are inside of this widget which is pretty unusual for the uh, UI system in Unreal uh, right now I have no way of displaying the links that were created in here for example um, because they're nested there is a little bit more hassle to do this but um, that might change in the future I might be able to figure out a way to, to highlight those as well but right now there is no not a way to do this so as I said when you cl just click on this you will be highlighting the, the widgets on the top which is the parent widget but when you call, hold down the control key you can also access the nested widgets so um, what we want to do now is for example Okay, I navigate to the screen, then it goes to high and I can navigate through those, but now I can actually get those buttons to 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 be able to navigate to my um, my original button as well. And with those nested widgets set up, you can overwrite some various features of and you just control how this stuff works as you can see I can go right again go down right left and now we have two setups of the navigation one that's in the parent here that's setting up navigation up and down and there is a navigation setup in here as well and sets up the navigation between those which is pretty cool um, yeah I think the nested widgets pipeline it gives you a lot of control um, the same way with all of that um, transitions and everything else like this it's 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 all working the same way as before uh, transitions you can double click this create some navigation custom navigation it's not not a problem with this at all um, so yeah you can 
set this up whatever however you want um as i as i said in previous video highlighting the sockets is also cool for having for like highlighting um just the uh, the setup for a specific socket so for example if i said that i want this socket to navigate also to this this and that and at this point we have uh, multiple lines and stuff when i click on this it will just show me the navigation for this sim uh, this the socket on its own so this way you can kind of you know just preview a little bit less um or more to see to see some more uh see it more clearly without less spaghetti so yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video i think uh it's all understandable now and i hope that you do some cool stuff with it so uh let me know if you have any issues with the plugin i'm constantly developing it and uh possibly fixing some bugs so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.